Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video we're going to look at Wakelet, but on a mobile app. Now, this video will be useful for both students and staff, and also anyone using Wakelet on a mobile device. Now, the idea of Wakelet essentially is, it's a digital bookmarking site, and it essentially allows you to put in collections and tell stories about links, information, and more. So it can be used, for example, to make a blog, or it can be used to collect in information from students. It could be used as a lesson plan, or even a class materials, where students can go on and access various news articles and presentations that you've posted. You could also use Wakelet, for example, to keep a of your activities or going traveling and where you have been and what kind of things you've looked at. Now this video is going to look at the mobile version of Wakelet and I hope you find it useful. So the first thing to do is download Wakelet onto your mobile device so I've just gone to the app store, searched Wakelet and then downloaded it. You'll then need to either log in or sign up depending on if you've used Wakelet before. You'll then see a list of collections if you've used it. If you haven't, this will be empty. And the collections are the main part of Wakelet. And in here you can search your collections and you can also access any group collections that you've worked on collaboratively. Let's have a look at the other options first and then we'll go back to collections. So bookmarks essentially are all of the various links that you have added to your collections in one space. So you can search for these without going into the individual collection. Next is news, which is essentially Wakelet news where it's anything you've shown interest in. And you can also search various Wakelets as well. The next option is your profile and your profile is like a public facing page that you can set up if you want to where you can enter in a bio and also add some public collections. Here is where you can also sign out of your account, update your email address, change your password etc. So let's have a look a little bit about mine here and what you can see is you can edit your profile and upload a profile image and you can also set a cover image. Now you don't need to use this, but it is a nice way of putting in a group of collections that you've got public and sharing those links out. As you can see here, I use this often, but again, it's completely up to you whether or not you use an open profile, but it is a nice way of collections. Let's have a look now at how we actually create a collection. And this is the main part of Wakelet and collections are essentially a collection of resources and information and links. So to get started, click the green button and then put in your collection name. So for example, if we were going to do one about gaming, I might put in gaming here. But it's whatever topic you are actually creating uh, a Wakelet on. Once you've done this, you can get started straight away. But I'm going to show you quickly what you can actually do to make this look a bit better. So click edit and then in here you can start to add various things such as a cover image. Now the cover image uh, essentially makes a banner at the top and you can either upload your own or choose from Unsplash or take a photo directly from the device. I'm just going to for this example use an Unsplash photograph and mine's about gaming so I'm just going to search game and add a random image that I find in here just as an example. Once you've done this you can then crop that image to make the thumbnail look a bit better. And then you can actually even insert a description on your collection as well. So if you were a student, you might explain what this collection's about for your uh, teacher, if you were doing a portfolio, for example. You can also change the visibility to make it from private to either public or unlisted to give it to your teacher, or if you were a teacher, giving it to your students. You can then change the collection layout, which is how it will essentially look to people. And there's various options you can choose. And you can also upload a background image for the Wakelet. Now this works better actually on the websites, but you can still add this onto the mobile device. You'll just not see it on most mobiles when you actually add it. But if you viewed this on a website, you would actually see the background. Here you can also delete the collection as well. I'm just going to click save now and you'll see that that collection now has got the banner at the top and also the description about what it is. The next thing to do is to actually start adding items into this. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you how you can click the three dots where you can now also invite contributors to add to this collection, delete it and reorder as well. 
So let's add an item first. So let's click the green button and let's say we've got a link to do with gaming that we want to save to come back to or present to our students or to various of our teachers if we were a student ourselves. So here I'm on the Xbox website. I'm just going to click copy on the URL at the top. So the website link and then I'm going to click add link. And then simply I just paste this in. So this helps because it means you can keep a collection of links all in one space. And you'll see here that that's now been added into your Wakelet. You can also write notes in here to start telling stories about your links and more information. Or if you were doing a blog, you could start to write blog posts in here with an image. Here I'm just going to explain a little bit about this actual collection as an example. So here you'll see it's now built up. Let's click add item again and I'll show you now how images work. So you just click on add image if you want to add an image and you can again upload photographs to your own or ones included. So this is great for example if you're doing a portfolio of work or some example work you can actually upload your own photographs as there is examples of what you've been doing. There is other options in here as well. So for example, you can add your own Twitter in here and um, you can add other people's Twitter links and there's more. You can also now reorder these images and by clicking the reorder button and then in here you can reorder your images and links if you decide you want something to come to the top. So just click the three dots and choose reorder. And this will allow you to change the structure of your Wakelet, as you can see here. You'll notice that you can't actually share your collection yet. So what you need to do is you need to click the edit button and then choose visibility. And in here, you'll need to either choose unlisted or public to make that available. Once you've done that, you'll then be able to share your collection either with your students or teacher. Let's have a look now at a couple of other options that you can do inside of Wakelet. So here you'll see that I'm on the news website on an app or any website or link that you can see the share button on, you can actually share directly into Wakelet. So just click the share button and then you can go straight into your collection and save it. So this is brilliant, for example, if you're browsing the web or you're on another app and you want to save those links directly into your Wakelet collections so that you can not, never lose a link again. So Wakelet essentially allows you to keep organized, but also allows you to create portfolios, information for students, or for students, information for your teacher as evidence of work. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, give us a like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Thank you.